We are going to rationalize the denominator for 12 over square root of 8. And we know 8 is not a perfect square. Therefore, square root of 8 is an irrational number. Well, to rationalize the denominator, it means that we have to make sure somehow this denominator becomes a rational number. How can we do that? I'm going to show you guys two ways. Here's the first. This is a square root, right? And when we have square root of a, an irrational number right here, typically a lot of people will just go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by the same thing. And it works. Square root of a on here and here. And you see, the reason that we can do that is because square root of 8 times square root of 8, let me work out all the details for you guys. We can just multiply the inside. We have 64, and then this is still the square root. We haven't done the square root yet, right? And square root of 64, we know it's just a nice number 8. You could have take the shortcut because square root of 8 times square root of 8 is just the inside 8. This is the beauty of square root numbers, right? If the insides are the same, it's pretty much just inside like this. So what you can get is an 8 in the denominator, no more radicals. So for sure, this is the rational number in the denominator, right? On the top, you still have this, 12 square root of 8. However, this is not the simplest form because for square root of 8 here, we can break it down. And to do so, I'm just going to do like this for you. We have to ask ourselves, what times what would give us 8? And we know 4 times 2 would give us 8. And that's good because 4 is a perfect square. Let me look at square root of 8 as square root of 4 times square root of 2. So we see this is going to be 12 right here times, because when you don't see any symbol right here, it means that we're multiplying. So times. For the square root of 4, this right here is just a regular number 2. And then we have this, square root of 2. This 2 in black is still chilling in the square root. Okay, so let's write it down. And then all over the 8 right here. And let's just work it out really quick. 12 times 2 is 24, and then we have the square root of 2 over 8 in the bottom. And then remember, we can simplify the outside numbers, right? 24 is outside, and then also the 8 is outside. We know 8 goes into 8 one time, 24. 8 goes into 24 three times, so altogether we have 3 square root of 2 all over 1. So this is it, 3 square root of 2. If you are okay with this, good, but then I want to show you a much better way because this is going to help us to remember and understand and be better at how to rationalize the denominator when the denominator is not just a square root. If it's a square root, just go ahead, multiply the same thing. It will always work, but it's kind of long right here. Here's a better way. Look at 12 over square root of 8. The idea here is that I need to multiply top and bottom by square root of some number so that I can produce a perfect square inside of the square root. Because that way, square root of a perfect square is a rational number. Well, what can I do? The best way of doing this kind of things is that when we are dealing with square root numbers, let me just write down the perfect squares on the side right here. Real quick, let me begin with square root of 1, which we know this is equal to 1. We never use 1, but it's a good start. The next perfect square we know is 4, because we know square root of 4 is equal to 2. And then we know square root of 9 is equal to 3. And then we know square root of what? 16 is equal to 4. And then of course we have square root of 25. This is going to give us 5, and so on, right? The question now is that, here we have 8 inside already. 8 times what can produce one of these? Well, we know 8 times 2 can give us 16, right? So it's a good idea to just multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2. This is enough because, once again, square root of 8 times square root of 2 will give us square root of 16 and that will eventually become a nice number 4. So this is exactly what I need. I don't have to multiply by the same square root numbers, even though this will always work, but this is good. And you see, let me just work out all the details for you guys. Square root of 8 times square root of 2. 
the inside numbers can be multiplied it, and we know that's 16, and it's still inside of the square root, but square root of 16 is just a nice number 4, right? So this time, we will just have a 4 in the denominator. On the top, we have just the 12 square root of 2. And you see, this is the simplest square root numbers already. <laughs> At the end, 12 over 4, this is 1, this is 3, right? We can still simplify it, and we still end up with 3 times square root of 2. So this is it.